it's actually not really the morning. <laughs> it is. Oh yeah, my watch is still on Moscow time. So it's 12.30 at the time that we're currently on. We just got up not very long ago. <laughs> it is 10.30 Moscow time though, which is I think the time that our bodies are still on. This is my first time being outside in 36 hours. How's it feel? That's good. I'm really not going crazy in our little room yet. We're enjoying this being stuck in one room way too much still. Like, when I realized that the trip was about halfway through, I was like a little sad. <laughs> but it does feel really good to get out and stretch the legs. This stop is not very exciting. Find anything you want? Water. Can I get a, a water? And, um, what's you Oh, we have to go. She says come. Ah. Don't leave us. It's possible. Almost got left. <laughs> I was just having fun trying to communicate with the lady and buy the drinks. And then I looked over and our carriage Dana was like, go on. Is this our room? The day that we got on the train, we went to the store and we bought tons and tons of food because we didn't know if we were going to be like trapped on the train and the car that has the food was going to be our only option and maybe it was going to be expensive, maybe it wasn't going to be very good. But it turns out the train has stopped like two or three times a day and you can jump off by food and drinks from all of these little like stands that sit beside the train. I picked up uh, kvass which we had on our food tour the other day. It's a fermented bread drink. It's carbonated and it tastes like a mix between beer and Coke. Also, if you didn't watch that video, it's like 0.05% alcohol, I think. So it has like a little bit. And the only reason I say that is because it's not regulated. Like kids drink it. It was pretty good. So I just had to try it again. Another pro tip from our 36 hours on the train, this was 50 rubles off the train and I think 100 rubles on the train. So it is a little cheaper to buy stuff off the train. slept till lunch we thought we'd just go straight to lunch and skip breakfast exciting things happening in cabin number five <laughs> oh, we're number seven. new mashed potato flavors honestly we thought we would do a lot more like shooting out the window and showing you the Russian countryside however all we've seen for the last 37 hours is trees and green and a little bit of rain so it all looks the same so to make today's video a little bit different than yesterday's make it a little more exciting we might try to venture off onto the second and third class trains and maybe even the restaurant train to see what it's like they're not separate trains just separate cars attached to the same train i feel like it's a new train on that <laughs> <over> there <laughs> We've lost another hour of our lives. It is now 4.30, but in Moscow it's only 1.30. It's making this day feel like it's going by super fast. Part of that might be because we slept for half the day, but the train's stopping again, so we get to get out for like 10 minutes. Yay! 
So we've just made a huge discovery that we probably should have made a couple days ago when we first boarded this train, but we have found a schedule. Up until this point, we've been sitting in our car and then we'll feel the train start slowing down and we're like, maybe we're stopping it. So we put on our shoes and then sometimes it stops and sometimes it doesn't. But this tells you exactly when you stop how long you're stopped at each station. It also tells you how many kilometers away you are from Moscow. So the place that we just stopped looks like Amak, and that was 2,676 kilometers away from Moscow. Also, we can stop making ourselves look silly to our cabin attendant because every time we get off the train, we're like 10, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and then we point at our watch and she just always looks at us like we're crazy. And I see why now, because it's all right here on the schedule. So this will be very handy to have. It looks like we stop again at 5.30 Moscow time. It is now 2.30. So in about three more hours, we'll stop for a full 30 minutes. What? I just feel so knowledgeable. Also, another pro tip, <laughs> the longer we get on the train, the more pro tips you get. Uh, I'm keeping my watch on Moscow time because like the schedules in Moscow time, the clocks at the stations that we're stopping at are in Moscow time. Pretty much like everything train related runs off of Moscow time. Now we're going to go explore some more cars. Hopefully we'll see what second class looks like, what third class looks like, and we may even make it to the food car. But we've never, we, we've yet to venture out of this car so I'm not sure what the process is. who are in charge of each car aren't huge fans of the camera. <laughs> we actually got yelled at. So we stopped filming. So now we'll tell you that the second class cars are not that different in size to the first class except for there's two extra beds on each side and there's no outlets. At least that we could see. We saw a lot of people with like uh, electronics plugged into one wall. In the hallway. Yeah, in the hallway. Like all their cords were coming out here, which is a huge deal for us to keep all of our electronics charged. I've already edited three vlogs. Also, I'm pretty sure there's no third class on this train. Nothing. Because third class isn't like rooms, and every car that we walked through had rooms. I guess we'll see when we ride in third <laughs> class. But going over there really confirmed that we made the right decision splurging on first class. I'm really glad nobody's sleeping above me and all of our stuff can be charging in our room with us. Yeah, it's really nice also when you get off the trains because we can just shut the door and then we don't have to worry about anybody like taking our stuff. 
Not that, like, we think people are necessarily bad, but we're literally carrying our entire lives with us, and we have a lot of expensive electronics, so it's really nice just being able to shut the door, jump off the train, and just not have to worry about it. Time for dinner. This has become one of my least favorite things to do on the train. Search through the food bag, trying to find what we would... Huh. It looks like beef instant noodles for dinner. Yum. This is the, uh, I can't remember if I bought the same. Yep. Oh no. Chicken instant noodle? Beef instant noodle. You have your choice. What? Do we have anything else up here? Oh, let's eat the brownies that Annie made us. Yeah. Brownies and ramen for dinner. So healthy. So normally Kara does all the cooking in this relationship, but since we've gotten on the train, I've taken over. It is 5.30 Moscow time, which means according to the schedule out there, we're about to stop for a full 30 minutes. Plenty of time to stretch the legs. It is 9, I looked at my watch, but that doesn't tell me. It is 9.30 local time, which means at some Wherever point between the last time we stopped and this time we have lost another hour. Crazy. This time change over the ground thing is super weird. Yeah. The problem is, we're not like adjusting to the time, we just keep staying up later and then waking up later. <laughs> so we need to make ourselves go to sleep earlier tonight. Maybe we should set an alarm tomorrow. And get up early tomorrow because the next morning we have to be off the train at 7 a.m. Which if we keep our bodies on this schedule is like the middle of the night. Let's go. So this stop is quite a bit different than the last few that we stopped at. At the last few stops, it's just been like stalls with like packaged food and like drinks. But here, as soon as we got off the train, there were like men and women that came up and were kind of like crowding at the door. There was a lady, there's actually multiple ladies who were selling whole, it looks like maybe smoked fish, like hanging by their shelves. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen Karen jump behind the camera. There's also a guy walking around selling fur hats. I think the stops are going to continue to get more interesting as we get closer to my goal. More lunges. Hope you enjoyed our second day on the Trans-Siberian Railway. If you're sad that today is over, don't fret because we have another day on this train tomorrow and then eight more days after that. And I'm going to get Kara her. Oh, oh, it's locked. <laughs> her third cup of coffee for the day. Oh. Because it's free, we can. Scratch up. Gosh, she almost kicked the kick. Just stay moving. And one, two, three, four, swing, five. Kind of like John. Oh, those are weenie push-ups. I'm weak. <laughs>